So here we are, just about to join Friday night nine ball. And we've just missed a lag, but Black uh, Jagged has won the lag. And this is a second round match. Race to seven. Multiple money ball handicapping. We'll have a quick look at the bracket while they're warming up. And we can see that uh, we're into some of the second round matches. This is the one we're watching here, Black Jagged and Free Ball. Uh, we've got Shibo playing Peg Leg, who's getting five and out. Uh, we have Alvinario, who's got a bye to the second round, as has Snotty, the match we're looking at. And we have PM147 playing Capo. Capo's getting five and out. Uh, Larry's got a bye. Popman is playing Drach, uh, or Drach 1980 in the second round. And Popman's getting the eight ball. And further down we have uh, Tony Sam who has a bye. And Wizard Cheat also has a bye. And the final match of the second round that we've got underway is Joscan who's playing Compact Core. And Joscan is getting a six ball. So... So we've got quite a good turnout. I think there's about 17 in the tournament. There are other bouts. And uh, if we look at the HUD up the top, I'll just use my little cue stick, you can see player one, who's Black Jagged from Germany. He's getting a seven ball. And uh, that is actually still quite a tough uh, handicap. Of course, one mistake made on that seven ball, and Black Jagged just needs to sink it to win the rack. Anyway, three balls at the table. Long time experience virtual pool player. And he plays a good safety there. Little soft draw off that five. And he's got Black Jagged tucked right behind the nine. And he'll be looking to kick this maybe off two rails off the side rail just above the middle pocket maybe the diamond above the middle pocket oh that's unlucky now from this position here with uh, ball in hand free ball needs to get an angle on that six ball because I don't think that seven will pass the nine from this left hand side let's have a look no, it doesn't, so he needs to get an angle, and he's going a bit straight here, and that's not good. So he, wa he would ideally want to take the seven ball into the same pocket as the six, so this is where he has a problem. Um, he might try and steal an angle here somewhere or another. Well, he's decided to try and maybe play either the safety or some long odds combo here. Uh, yeah, safety's a better idea. So again, Black Jagged, not necessarily tucked up behind the nine ball, but he's only got a kick if he can make it, and I don't even think he can make it off the the top rail there. He might be able to squeeze past it. I don't know whether he's got enough angle, though. Well, he's going across the way, he's looking at it anyway. Again, he might get lucky here. He could knock the seven in. Well, he's hit the nine. And, uh, well, that should be this rack over. Free ball just looking to tuck the cue ball maybe in behind between the seven and the, sorry, the eight and the nine. And just a roll in in the eight. And so the first rack goes on the board to free ball. And if, uh, Black Jagged's going to get anything in this match. He's really got to take his time and line those kick shots up a wee bit better. Take his shot clock because it's a 30 second shot clock and a 15 second extension he's got. You'll get one extension in every rack. So, free ball breaks off in the second rack. A ball's gone down. And he'll be looking to run out. Now there's 
a slight problem here with the angle he's got in the three. He's got to avoid the traffic here somehow or other, because if he hits that five, um, he's not going to have a shot in the four, and he doesn't want to hook himself. And he's managed to avoid the five. But again, this is a tough shot, because he's got to try and somehow manoeuvre the cue ball back up or back down to the bottom of the screen as we look and it's not a great angle so he's got to really force it so in that respect he's decided against it and left what looks a, an awkward cut on the five well he's declined the option there and tried to actually maybe drop that cue ball in behind the seven and he's failed and that's given Black Jagged a chance here six balls over the right hand corner that's not the problem the problem's getting from the six up to the seven and of course remember that black jagger just needs to get on this seven ball and stick it in a hole somewhere and that way he's won the rack and he's looking at what he's got and no doubt he's going to go for the draw and he needs to get the pace right and if he overdoes it and that might be okay. He's just running a wee bit. Now that's fine. I'd be happy with that. So, will we give him this rack? I think I would. And in goes the seven. So, Black Jagged's quickly got himself on the scoreboard, but that. Uh, Rack came about from the uh, attempted safety by free ball that went wrong, left the cue ball out in the open. And Black Jagged took his chance that time. And he also got a ball in the break. Now, we've went the last few weeks where players have really struggled to get a ball in the break in this uh, set up. And Black Jagged was quite a way off with that one in the corner there. Now, can free ball see enough of this one ball? I don't know whether he can. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, he can. Just. Of course, the we can see where the problem balls are in this table. We've got the eight ball tucked up on that left-hand middle pocket. And the six ball is tucked up there behind the nine. So that's... Um, going to give free ball some work if he's going to run out this rack and he's got the wrong angle here on the five cue ball's going to be running back up the table and he's going to have no shot other than a thin safety off this six well he's decided to go the other way try to go for the safety again and get cover but kissed into the six but again there's no real I don't think there's any real damage done there I mean, the six ball does go, but actually getting onto it is, is the issue. And that problem now lies in the hands of Black Jagged here. He's went for a wild shot in the five. And he's left it on. And although it's just a bit of a slightly awkward cut because he's close to it he's got a nice angle to come up here for this six so this is all about pace well we know the six goes but he's got to get the cue ball out anywhere out in the middle left hand side of the table and he's got a shot in a seven but he's kissed into the nine so again this is a distance shot and these aren't gimmies on these tables and again it's not the ball you want to be making a mistake on because it's black jagged seven ball but in it goes and now the crucial one is this eight ball and the danger, of course, here is pushing that eight ball onto that uh, far jaw of the middle pocket, just catching the corner of it, which he's done. Well, it's not gone safe, and that eight ball does cut, and 
it doesn't need to be hammered in just let it run and let the cue ball run and the cue ball will come back up with the nine and he's hit it to the jaw and I think this time free ball won't make any more mistakes he'll just drop that eight ball in leave the cue ball more or less where the eight is And so, free ball goes back into the lead. Two racks to one. Now, something fell there, but unfortunately it was the cue ball. So it's ball in hand to Black Jagged. Um, not a nice shot in the one ball. It's tight in the left rail. And the two balls up in the right hand corner. So again, he doesn't need to do an awful lot with the cue ball. He just needs to focus on the one. As long as he leaves it between that eight and nine. And again, big, big margin of error here. Cue ball anywhere out in the middle of the table near the bottom end. And he's got a shot in the three. Got lots of draw on it. And... That is actually sitting pretty good. He can actually force an angle. Maybe even a wee bit of left hand English. Well, he's, he looks like he's going for the draw again. And he's to bounce. That's okay, I think. I think you can see the four. Well, this looks easy because if he can get from this four down to the five, then he's only got a roll in in the six in the middle and the seven's down in the bottom right. So, oh dear, well, that's a bad one. Took his eye off it, concentrating in the five, forgot about the four, and that's a guilt edge opportunity squandered there by Black Jagged. And again, Free ball's been around long enough not to really turn down these chances. And this should be simple enough for him. Just stop the cue ball where the six is. Or just run through whatever. And he can certainly get the cue ball across to the left side for the eight ball. Well, that's a wee bit short. You should still get it, though. Well, Black Jagged had his chance, and he, he missed a bad one. And all he could do in the rest of that rack was watch free ball clear up and also get a couple of balls in the break. The five's gone and the eight's gone. Eh, sorry, the seven. And this looks good. These balls are sitting nice. The eight goes past the nine. Well, the th the three balls are one that's going to cause the most problem here, getting from the two to the three. And that's not well played. He's left it short. Needed a bit more pace on it, and maybe a wee bit too much spin. So just playing the safety. Now, if Black Jagged gets this right, he could have the cue ball tucked right in behind the 8 and 9 here, or even tucked the 3 ball in behind the 8 and 9. He's went for the reverse bank, and it's missed. And I suppose he'll be happy with that because he's not really left anything on. There's no bank into that pocket where the cue stick is at the moment. The eight ball was blocking that. So free ball looking for the the long grass, as we say. And he's left a three on as a cut. It's not easy, but the shot is on. It's a tight cut along the rail. And again, Black Jagged's hit it into the rail first. 
Now, I think that six ball and eight ball can certainly be made as a combo. The eight ball's going to the jaw, but it can certainly be made. And three ball went for the reverse bank. No success. Now, remember this time the seven ball has gone off the table. So, Black Jagged needs to pot everything here to win the rack. And he needs to try and get himself lined up in this six and eight ball as best he can to be able to make the combo. And he's got to send that six ball to the right of the eight to make it. So he should be hitting the six ball in the left hand side here to try and cut that eight in. And I think that's what he's looking at. Oh, it's not gone. And what's more, the eight is hanging up over the pocket. The free ball just needs to roll the six dead weight onto the eight, just to keep the six ball there near the pocket. Well, this is a slight problem because, again, we've seen what's happened with this six ball deep in the jaws there. And a little soft screw controlled the cue ball. So free ball has now raced into a four racks to one lead now. Black Jagged can't say he hasn't had his chances. Well, the nine ball's going in off the break there, but that'll be respotted. That was the free ball's money ball. And remember, spot money means that if any money balls are spot, uh, potted on the break off, then they're respotted. This angle in the four is actually pretty good because the cue ball's coming down over to the left here for this four, uh, five ball. That's perfect. Again, a nice little angle. He could drop behind the six ball and take it into the left middle, or he could leave it long. The actual, the best shot to play is to play the six into the middle because then he's got an easier shot to get in a seven. Now he just ran a wee bit too far, but that shouldn't be that bad. You can be able to draw that cue ball and still hold for the 7 off the bottom rail and side rail if he wants. And that's pretty good. And maybe just a little stun. Or he could run across and come back across to the right here. Well, he's managed to hold it. On the left side, so now this is a wee bit nasty. It's all about pace, because the nine ball is on the spot, remember. And the cue ball is going to have to go down and back up. And he's kissed into the nine. And this is a not too easy cut on the nine. Where's the cue ball? Cue ball's fine, it's slowing up, so... Three balls quite a distance ahead here, five racks to one, I think he tried the soft break there but he's actually got nothing and he's left nothing and Black Jagged's got his work cut out to stay in this match here well, he's comboed the nine onto the two and now he's got a well, he could play a billiard from the one on to the nine. He might be trying that. Because the nine's over the pocket. And he tried it. And didn't get there. And now the six is set up with the combo and the nine. So this rack, I don't think has got too many minutes left in it. Because that three ball is just going to be nudged along the rail onto the nine. And three ball is now six racks to one ahead. And it looks very likely that Black Jag is going to have to fight his cause in the one loss side of the tournament. And he may well have a little while to wait for his next match as well. So... 
free ball tries the safety but he's left a one out in the open and again all these balls are sitting there can Black Jagged run the table Well, this is again not a nice angle on the two to actually get in the three. And he, he was always going to run into something there. So now he's in a bit of a dilemma as to what to do. Well, he's went for the bank on the eight ball, which he gets. But still no shot really on this three. He's still left it tough. Well, that was a good shot and controlled the pace of the cue ball well. He's sitting nicely on the four. Played that with a lot of right hand English. And now, well, there's an angle on this five. I think there's a slight angle. Let's have a look. Oh no, that's pretty straight. And now he's just got a seven ball down the rail. Quite a big margin of error here. As long as he doesn't hit it away from the rail, he should be fine. So in goes the seven. And Black Jagged still hanging on these fingertips. He still trails by six racks to two. And nothing, I don't think anything dropped here. I didn't hear anything dropping. No, dry break. Now is free ball going to try and just drop in behind a four and play the four nine combo into the middle? It looks like it. Well, in it goes. Match is over. The combo in the nine sealed the deal and free ball wins the match by seven racks to two and he marches on into the third round and as I said earlier, Black Jagged, well he's off to dig in the trenches in the one lost side and try and fight his cause for the rest of the tournament.